Hey everyone, many blessings. Um, I know it's been a little while since I made my last video. I've kind of just been really just focusing on myself and growing spiritually and just, you know, taking care of my family and doing the things that I need to do as far as progression for us. And God has just been really good, you know, even through these times, you know, God, um, Yahuwah has really just been really moving in my life and really just showing me exactly what he can do. He's really just been a huge blessing in my life. And I hope that he's been a blessing to you, you guys as well. I want to pray for you guys and send you guys many love and peace. I pray for blessings and, and that Yahuwah will move in you, your life. Um, and in the lives of those you love and care for, I hope that you find Yahu and Yahusha. Um, and I hope that the Holy Spirit moves in you to guide you in the direction that he would like you to go. Um, I, um, if you hear some noise in the background, I'm sorry, that's my youngest son back there, um, just watching TV and, and doing what he does in the meantime while I shoot this video. But I really wanted to come to you guys about a dream I had that Yahua has given to me. And my perception of this is pre-tribulation or tribulation and post-tribulation um, dream that I had. Um... And I mean, this dream was very, I mean, it, it, I haven't had a dream like this in a, in a, in a while. Um, and I literally had watched um, some things on YouTube the other night um, about Yahua, Yahusha. And I was like, in, in prayer and in worship and reverence and just pure, just praise of Yahusha last night to where I was I was literally in tears you guys and after that um I went to bed and I had this dream so I wanted to show you what the dream was about tell you what this dream was about okay so I I don't remember quite how the beginning started but I know we were in this house and I want to say it was a house with like people I knew like relatives or you know people that were familiar with me and it was a bunch of chaos going on and for some reason like I I would say there was about 10 10 to 12 people in this house and for some reason like there was a bunch of people who were confused I knew I knew I felt the spirit speak to me and was telling me we need to leave we need to get out of the house and I was able to get out of the house. You know, I didn't see like my sons or my husband, but I just felt like their presence with me. So I just, I just took that as me being a, a, a symbol for my family in general. So there was a bunch of people in the house and a lot of them were confused. Like it was like they knew something was urgent. Like we needed to leave. We needed to get out of the house. But a lot of people were just confused and like belligerent and just um, they kept like looking like I, I was like, let's we got to go. And um, some of the people I would talk to were saying, oh, I can't find my keys or, you know, I got to get this or I got to get that. You know, like they were just confused. They knew that something was coming and that they needed to leave. But just something was keeping them from for leaving, whether it was something small like their keys or, you know, they were looking for somebody or they just they just couldn't find something. It was like they were. Um, their mind was gone, you know, it's like they, it was something was keeping them from from the spirit, from being led by the spirit. So I get in the car and it seemed to be like a van because there was quite a few people in the car with me. And so we, we are driving. I don't know who the driver is, but I know we're going pretty fast. And it seemed like the world was just in complete disarray. It was really dark. And it was just like like a hurricane, like 
seemed like a hurricane was really close by. And as we we're driving, uh, we passed several, several tornadoes. And I knew it had to be the spirit guiding us, like guiding the driver, guiding the car so that we would miss everything that was happening because there was huge tornadoes as we're driving um and they were huge like almost like i don't know it, hurricanes are really wide but like these tornadoes were like they were just so they were massive like tallest that i could see and the bottom or the base of the tornadoes were shaped like dragon heads like literally like you could see like i don't know what you call it, the gills coming out you see like the mouth of it hitting the ground and it was just swirling 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 and i mean there were so many like I, every time like a mile last we passed it was another tornado another tornado and it was really it was it was getting people, you know, and it was getting homes. And I could tell that, you know, the people that were confused, the people that didn't have the spirit were stuck in those houses and they were literally being destroyed by these dragon-like tornadoes. And the tornadoes were made of fire and it was like purple and blue and it looked like it had lightning in it. It was like some of the fiercest tornadoes i've ever seen you knew they were hot and they weren't they weren't here to play they were dragon tornado the, like like i said the base of it was like the shape of a, a dragon and the mouth was just like touching the ground it was just crazy just spewing fire like made of fire it was purple and blue and lightning in it it was something that i've never seen before and they were huge they were really huge and like literally every mile there was one and it was destroying everything. And if it wasn't for the spirit guiding that band, we would be destroyed along with everything else. We would be consumed with everything else. But we had the spirit, those of us that were in the car. And we were being led by the spirit. And we every every turn, I mean, we, we missed it. Sometimes we just barely missed it, but we made it. So... We get to a stop and there's four women. Um, there's four women with me that's there at the stop. And I'm here trying to direct these ladies, you know, and two of the women in particular, I was actually surprised that they were even in the car because it looked to me that they had like some surgeries done, you know, like they had had some lip fillers you know they had had some maybe like a nose job they had even had like a breast um sir um plastic surgery on the breast and butt so i was even surprised that they had even made it this far but anyway i remember we're getting to a stop and we had to cross this certain thing to get to the other side and for some reason i was the one taking the lead and i was just like telling these ladies you know this is what we have to do. You need to listen to me. You need to follow my instructions, respect me. And I don't want to hear no, no, um, lip about it or anything like that. <laughs> and there were two ladies and, and there were two ladies that just did what I said. And then, um, the two that had the, the surgeries or whatever, I don't know if they said it out loud or if they were thinking it, but it was kind of like, I don't have to listen to her. She doesn't, she's not the boss of me. And before you know it, they burnt right up. They just completely burnt, gone, nothing but ashes. And, you know, I didn't really think twice about it. I was just like, come on, ladies, we got to go. You know, like I didn't even take a second look at it. I just, you know, was like, okay, ladies, let's go. So we ended up getting to the other side. And on the other side, there was Yausha. And a lot of people ask me, you know, want to know how Yausha looks or something like that. But when he comes, when he comes to me, it's like you can see his body, but you can't. He's such he's such a bright light. It's like you can you can see the his like his his body, his fullness, but you can't 
quite see his face because he's such a such a bright light it's hard to distinguish his presence but you just know it's him because his presence is undeniable you just know like when he stands in front of you that's yahusha you just know and um people can be so picky about well how does he look what is his features and things like that but um he doesn't come to me that way because i think this world is is built off vanity and people get so consumed about the looks of person people you see it with all these people they even change their own looks. You know, they get all these plastic surgeons because they're unhappy with the way they look. They're so vain. You know, they're so vain. And so I think Yahusha comes to me as he does. It's because we should put that aside because at the end of the day, that does not matter. That's all materialistic and that's of this world. And Yah is not of this world. So he comes to me in that form. Like I, I could see like his body like but i cannot distinguish like his face or anything like that he's just like it's like a bright aura that you just can't you just can't distinguish but you know it's him okay so and yahusha's there and there's like three skeletons and three spirits and i could tell that these spirits were like angelic spirits and so when we get there, everything's like calm. Everything's just like quiet. There's so much peace. And um, so these spirits are trying to join with these skeletons. And so two of the skeletons, two of the spirits tried to join, but there was something about like the skeletons, they weren't pure enough. Um, they weren't pure enough to for these angelic spirit, spirits to join with them. Like something was keeping them from joining. And I think it's because we as people, we've come become so corrupt. It's even hard for angels to come in us in a, in a body because we have become so corrupted by this satanic world that we're in now. These are the end times. So a lot of things have become corrupted. But there was one skeleton that one of the angelic spirit spirits could join with. And he could he could barely join, but he, he was able to join. And this angel, this angelic spirit, he was so funny. I mean, he was like, I mean, the moment like he, the moment him and the, the skeleton joined, it became like flesh everything joined together so like the skeleton and the spirit connected and then there was flesh and as there was flesh going i mean the moment he was so funny this was the funniest angel i've like oh my gosh he's like it's like he's like a um a eddie murphy a richard pryor uh uh um a paul mooney uh a robin williams a jim carrey uh a cat williams uh i mean just just everything all in one and the thing about him is he didn't have to use any like profanity or anything like that to be funny he was just naturally funny and he always brought it back to god it was like a joy that you can't find on this earth now and it's a it's a joy that has been missing so this angelic being becomes turns into flesh and as he's as he's t manifesting as he's becoming human and becoming one with this skeleton um yahusha hands him this clothes these clothes and it's like a suit and it's like a 1960s like old brown like you know it was an it was a nice suit but it was like brown and it was like you know something old something that you would usually get like maybe at a salvation army or something like like hand-me-downs like and as he as he's turning into flesh he begins to talk and he's like he's like <laughs> telling yahusha like really out of the whole wide world you you give me this to wear Yahusha, like he's just like going in about this old suit that he has to wear but anyway he t he turns it around and like when he becomes flesh i mean 
like you could tell that his spirit was still youthful you know he had like a a a, a, a mid to late 20s to early 30s like spirit and so when he becomes flesh like he just looks like this he just looks so fresh and even his hair was like slicked back like those 1960s dudes and everything like that he i mean he was so fresh and he was so funny it was to the point where you know how when you laugh so much you get cramps in your stomach that's how much i i felt like i was laughing like literally every um punchline every sentence like everything this dude spoke was just hilarious and i got the feeling that like he 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 just brought joy to everything i felt like it just the schools began to lighten up with his presence um the homes began to like entertainment began to lighten like everything became a bright light like everything started to get life again just from him and i mean i the way i perceived it is like he was on the tv screen he was like he was like one of the you know actors now but i mean he was the only one on the screen and like everybody like everything just began to get life by seeing him and he was so funny and he every time he just brought it back to yaua and he didn't you have to use profanity or anything he was just supernaturally just funny to where everything um had life again everything everything um it was just like you know one of those videos where everything is just like dark and dead and then you see a, a screen and then everything just like there's green and color and everything was gray at first no color and then as he he begins to be a light to this world this angelic being everything began to catch life again it was even beautiful more beautiful than before where the grass was even greener the trees were even bigger and and brighter and and vibrant the animals everything just from just from this one angel now he there was gonna be three but just from this one angelic spirit that was able to return here on earth was able to do that can you imagine if all the angelic beings were able to return i mean it would be beautiful and that to me symbolized like the new earth being created and how how yahusha is gonna work um and and fulfill that and so as these changes began to form, I just remember like embracing Yahusha. And it was like the biggest, warmest embrace I've ever given anyone in my life. I mean, I don't even give my sons this kind of embrace, you know. It was like, you know, how you have a family member that's going off to war. Or like somebody really close to you that has been missing for like years and years, decades to 20 years, like you that you never thought you'd see again. And they were right there. I gave I gave Yahusha one of the biggest, tightest hugs I could ever give. I don't I don't think I even give my sons this big of a hug, but then again, I see them every day. But it's like I had like it was like I had missed him, you know? And when I gave him the hug and embraced him, I, I hold, held him tight and it was like a, almost like a remembrance. Like even his, his aura or like his fragrance was such a familiar larity to me. It was like, I don't know, I had missed this, being for a long time you know and the, i had embraced him i literally didn't want to let him go i was squeezing him so tight it was like i missed you you know i really did and um so yeah that's um that's the dream that i had and that that to me symbolized pre-tribulation to tribulation to post-tribulation um I pray this message reaches those needing to hear this message in Jesus Yahusha's mighty name. I pray. Amen.